Hey guys, I'm Blake Boudreau. And I'm William Biagini. And we're here in Washington, D.C. with Campus Reform, asking people what they think about the American flag. Let's get to it. First thing is, 4th of July is coming up. Do you have any plans to celebrate? Um, not really, maybe just to be at home and uh, cook out and go to the fireworks. Being at the backyard doing some barbecue with my family and watching some fireworks and just attending the celebrations in my community. Looking to see some fireworks this 4th of July to celebrate. So I'm actually going to Washington State for that holiday and there's a big parade goes right by the front yard and we'll have fireworks and barbecue and yeah. Plan on giving myself some time to remember what uh, this country means to us and how we are independent due to the fact of all the sacrifices our military have made, sacrificed their lives, sacrificed everything and anything just so we can be an independent free country. So what does the American flag mean to you? I, it's our history, everything we stand for, right? So whether good or bad, it includes everything. Patriotism celebration of our country in all ways. <laughs> um, the American flag stands for a lot of my values, I think. I think it's under attack and it's really, really sad to see. So what does the American flag mean to you? Why, do, why are you celebrating America's birthday? Freedom. Freedom. Do you find the American flag to be, you know, triggering or offensive in any way at all? No. no. Yeah. Well, there are some people, as a matter of fact, who would beg to differ. And some people, especially in higher education, have found the American flag to be like triggering and offensive. So there's this one professor, for example, at Marquette University, his name's Dr. Grant Silva, and he said, quote, I also get a little bit anxious around the excessive imagery of the flag, in part because in my experience, patriotism quickly slips into nationalism. Again, his name is Dr. Grant Silva. What is your reaction to this quote? I don't find that true, but then I come from a military family, so we find Same here. patriotic. <laughs> Well, I honor that flag wholeheartedly. I fought for that flag. I had that flag flying in front of my home. I'm a patriot for the flag. That's all I can say. I, you know, I will fight for my country again if it need be. Well, I am an immigrant, and looking at what you know the United States has done for me, you know, I am a patriot, and I think the national flag uh, brings the nation together. And I think, uh, well, I don't know his views are, but. Personally, I love the American flag and I think it is a good thing, you know, because it binds the nation together. I'm sure there are some people out there that would be, are super nationalistic, but we all have to make sure to restrain each other and understand the separation between patriotism, which is good, and nationalism, which can, of course, quickly become bad. I don't know who this fellow is, but clearly he's not a patriot nor a nationalist. He sounds to me more like a fascist, if I'd have to quantify or qualify him as anything. So it's impossible that love of your country is going to lead you to be a nationalist. Yeah, so going off of that, according to a YouGov poll, 70% of Americans say flying an American flag is patriotic, but 31% of respondents uh, said that it's either not very patriotic or not patriotic at all. Um, with professors like Dr. Grant Silva teaching young Americans, are you surprised uh, at these statistics? I mean, I'm not surprised. No, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. The American, the young, the youth, they're a little different. I'm slightly surprised. I, I think a ton of people don't realize how strong of an influence the college campus has become in our day-to-day -day life. If an American professor is teaching young Americans that they should be scared of the American flag, do you think he should keep his job? I think he has the right to say what he feels and what he wants, but it's also up to us as parents, as educators, to educate our children at a young age, very young age, to know the difference between right and wrong. And just because a professor says something doesn't mean that the students need to take it all in and believe every word he's saying. He shouldn't He shouldn't be using that in his classroom. Whether he agree or disagree, he should be teaching it, you know, the uh, American history or national world history, whatever you're gonna see, but he shouldn't start to say that the flag is, is used in a bad way because the flag, like I said, for, for our century, our forefathers fought for this flag, and that's what we are today. We got freedom because of, uh, as far as being African-American, I know we have freedom because of uh, that flag. <laughs>